Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Watch out for that microphone. All right, we are going to talk about something cool. And it's boom. Gary Loomis, Edge Rods. Now, uh, Mr. Loomis, or Gary Loomis, uh, a while back ago, um, he had cancer, and he got a very pessimistic um, uh, diagnosis. Well, they told him to sell everything, so pretty much he sold his, his company and stuff, and, um, and then he lived. <laughs> and a friend of his wanted to make a rod for him, uh, for a shootout in um, Portland, Oregon. And so he did, and thus Edge was actually created. Now, Edge Rods is a, um, a company. I really want you guys to see the following video and see how it actually um, is made. So what I did, I know, somebody said, Mike, you have enough rods. But I broke my medium, OK? It's an old rod. It was one that actually was lost in the lake. And a diver uh, recovered it. So it had seen its uh, its uh, um, its life, and it finally died. So boom, this is what I have coming in. I ordered it. Up. It takes about a month and a half, and you're going to see why. But this is a medium fast action, and uh, just under seven feet. And so I'm going to let you watch this video, and you and then afterwards we'll talk a little bit about the coolness factor of it all right well i tried to a couple times to do this but we're going to listen to me what you're seeing alex doing right now is showing you the carbon fiber comes out of the freezer <laughs> and it comes out looking like that you're going to see some really tiny threads in here that gives carbon fiber the strength it needs for the lightness. Now this rod will only weigh one ounce. So it's got to be really strong and carbon fiber is the strongest to do it. Now here this guy is actually rolling out an entire roll right, right out of the freezer and he and it gets cut into these patterns. And each pattern is tapered and it gets to the, goes to the next step which is around a mandrel. A mandrel is a rod, a tapered rod for a, um, a fishing pole. And it gets attached to the mandrel. And it's got to be done with great force, 200 pounds uh, of force. And that's what that machine is doing right there. So it goes ahead and rolls it and presses it onto the mandrel. And then it gets wrapped and it goes into the um, oven and you're going to see it now come out of the oven and it now is baked <laughs> it's one piece now now what's interesting is that now they got to kind of disassemble it they got to remove the mandrel which is what he's doing right there and the cellophane uh, that they use to wrap it in order to um, uh, prep it for the oven and that's what they're doing there and then it'll go to sanding or painting or whatever uh, in the next step. So now they got to make a grip. So that's Mr. Dave. And Mr. Dave is a master grip builder. And they make these grips out of carbon fiber and they weave it like a basket. So that's what he's doing right there. He's actually making a grip and weaving it like um, a basket around his mandrel. So next, that grip goes into um, to get reamed. That's a reamer. And it gets cut and reamed in order to fit the rod perfectly. And they test it, and voila, a grip is made. And now they glue it with a 30-minute epoxy. And they're going to put that epoxy on it and glue that grip right onto the um, blank. Very cool, huh? So now they got to put the guides on and they 
hand tie the guides by hand and then they got to glue it so that's what this young lady's doing she's putting glue with a paintbrush around each one of those guides it's a flexible glue so it bends with the rod and it goes round and round and round in order to make sure it doesn't um, it it dries evenly around the uh, uh, pole and it doesn't pool so very cool and this is nearing the end boom and you've got a finished product well you gotta admit that well you gotta admit that <laughs> a cajun rods does very much sim very similar stuff and i love that about cajun rods it's an american-made rod the uh, loomis edge up in washington just above me and maybe one day i'll get up there tour the facilities like you just saw but I thought the, the tour was really good. 52 people over a few days were are able to make the rod that you order from them. That's a pretty cool thing. And it has a lot of detail. A lot of work goes into making a rod. That's why it takes a month and a half or so for you to get a rod. Uh, a lot of times they do make it to order. Uh, they do sometimes have back stock. And as you can see, there was a there's a sale going on. So it's half off. It's a MSRP. So I wanted you guys to see, you know, what that was like and uh, um, what goes into making a carbon fiber rod. I'm actually real interested about this grip. Uh, the whole reason he makes a carbon fiber grip is so you could feel the blank even through the grip. And, you know, he did mention, uh, you know, they doesn't want it to smell like a tackle box. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video really interesting stuff on how a carbon fiber rod is made. Take care, everybody.